It probably won't come as a surprise that Hollywood isn't known for employing a lot of tall men. And often it's because it's actually easier to keep shorter statured actors in the same frame with their female co-stars without having to utilize weird angles. But the list of the shortest actors in Hollywood is certainly packed with talent. So join Facts First as we take a look at the shortest male actors in Hollywood ranked by height. Tom Cruise, 5 foot 7. Tom Cruise has been at the top of the A-list for as long as we can remember, and his short stature has never stopped him, most successful Hollywood stars of all time. Cruise is 5 foot 7. If the success of the new Top Gun Maverick movie is any indicator, Cruise's fame and acting success is showing no signs of slowing down. He's famously full of unending energy, massive acting talent, and more general charisma than one person should be allowed to have. Yet, at the same time, he's also known for being very secretive about his private life, which includes his high position in the dubious church known as Scientology. This penchant for secrecy also extends to his height. Through the years, there have been myriad photos of the star posing next to female co-stars or wives who are known to be taller or the same height as him, and yet he often appears taller than them, or at least taller than we know he is. The reason? He often wears lifts in his shoes, or he wears shoes that are designed to give the wearer a couple extra inches in height. One notable example is when he recently posed with Kate Middleton. Middleton is 5'9 and was wearing 3 inches inch heels, putting her at around 6 feet. Yet Cruz seemed to be standing eye to eye with the royal. How did he pull it off? First, his shoes appeared to have a stacked heel, which boosted him around 1.5 to 2 inches. And then he likely wore custom insoles that can give the wearer a few more inches. Talk about movie magic. Danny Trejo, 5'6". Danny Trejo has carved out quite the incredible career as a character actor, often playing intimidating and hard-nosed characters. So you might assume Trejo is a large, looming person. Yet, he's fairly diminutive, standing at 5'6". He's a fitness fanatic and has been able to project a fit and muscular body despite his short height. Trejo is of Mexican heritage and was born in Echo Park in Los Angeles in 1944. He struggled a lot as a kid, getting into frequent trouble with the law. He spent time in prison on drug-related charges and has had issues with substance abuse. During one stint in San Quentin prison, he joined a 12-step program that enabled him to get sober. He also used that time to hone his boxing skills and became a boxing champ in the welterweight and lightweight division. Clearly, these experiences helped Trejo figure out how to make up for his small stature and utilize his strength, physique, and confidence to thrive. And he's been able to channel those qualities into his successful acting career. Even into his 70s, Trejo continues to act and plays characters who are intimidating and raw. He's appeared in films like Desperado and Point Blank, and TV shows like Sons of Anarchy and Desperate Housewives. In total, he's appeared in more than 250 films and shows, so clearly his height has never gotten in the way of his success. Daniel Radcliffe, 5'5". Five We've all seen Daniel Radcliffe since he was very short, but of course, he was only a child when we were introduced to him as Harry Potter. But as it turns out, Radcliffe grew up into a short adult as well, standing at 5'5". Five five. But he's another great example of an actor who has had immense success despite being significantly shorter than the average man. Radcliffe is the first to admit he's pretty short, but he also says it hasn't held him back. He seems to have a great attitude about the whole thing. When asked about his height by Playboy, he brought up the fact that actors like Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise are close to his height and they've both played leading men for decades. He also pointed out that he's of sufficient height to play a soldier, since the bare minimum for a Marine is 5 feet. At the same time, he knows he has limitations when it comes to the type of roles he can play. For example, he says he wouldn't be able to take himself seriously if he was cast as a quarterback in a football movie. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Michael J. Fox, 5'4". Michael J. Fox is another A-lister who's been able to achieve huge success despite standing at only 5'4". Born in Edmonton, Canada in 1961, Fox found fame through his portrayal of Alex Keaton on the legendary sitcom Family Ties. He parlayed that success into the lead role in Back to the Future, which turned him into a megastar. Fox starred in all three of the films in that franchise and was able to star in several other movies in the 80s and 90s, including The Secret of My Success, Doc Hollywood, Green and the American president. But tragedy struck when he was only 29. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Though he hid the disease for the next nine years and was able to continue working, eventually he had to come forward with the news. He was forced to retire at age 39 due to the debilitating nature of the disease. He now uses his time to help further Parkinson's research and to be an advocate for the disease. Joe Pesci 
5 foot 3. Joe Pesci is kinda like a stick of dynamite, short but intensely powerful. His acting prowess and bigger than life personality has allowed him to shine in many movies, including several with directing legend Martin Scorsese. The beginning of their partnership began with 1980's Raging Bull. After that, he acted in Goodfellas, Casino, and The Irishman. And if you're noticing a pattern here, you're right. All these movies were critically acclaimed, loved by audiences, and they won awards. So clearly, Joe has a knack for picking great movies and then turning in amazing performances. Danny DeVito, 4 foot 10. Danny DeVito is another legend of the big and small screen who hasn't let his incredibly small stature stop him, but it doesn't mean he's always felt confident about it. As a child in New Jersey, he was self-conscious about his height, but he says that as he got into acting in high school, it helped him forget about his height. He was able to use his love of the acting craft as a way to boost his confidence as a shorter man. DeVito has now been a star for decades, despite suffering from a condition called Fairbanks disease, which is a bone growth disorder. After getting his start on the hit sitcom Taxi, he spent the next several decades as a successful movie actor, appearing in things ranging from Batman Returns to Get Shorty. He then found success in recent years as one of the leads in the long-running hit show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Peter Dinklage, 4 foot 5. Peter Dinklage has been a working actor for several decades, though he didn't achieve mega fame until his turn as Tyrion Lannister on Game of Thrones, though he did previously garner critical acclaim for his work in the movie The Station Agent. Dinklage, who is now 52, is 4 foot 5. This is on account of being born with a form of short-limbed dwarfism known as achondroplasia. Dinklage admits he's fairly used to getting stares because of his short stature, but he told the UK newspaper The Times it doesn't bother him nearly as much as it used to. Plus, he points out that in the modern era, there are fewer restrictions on who can be considered a leading man in Hollywood. Warwick Davis Three foot six. In 1983, Warwick Davis's grandmother heard an announcement on the radio that the production of Return of the Jedi was looking for people to cast under four feet tall. So she sent in his name and the rest is history. Davis has achieved great success in Hollywood since his first role in that movie. He stands at three foot six due to a rare genetic disorder known as SED. This caused his dwarfism. But Davis hasn't let his stature hold him back. He had a starring turn in the classic fantasy film Willow and has appeared in every Harry Potter film as well. Vern Troyer Two foot eight. Sadly, this last actor passed away in 2018. But before that, Vern Troyer was the shortest member of our list, standing at a mere two foot eight. However, that didn't stop him from making a big impact in the world of film. His most prominent role was as Mini Me in the Austin Powers series of movies. He also had a role in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Before he died, he made several appearances as himself on a variety of reality shows like The Surreal Life and Celebrity Big Brother. Sadly, he died of suicide by alcohol poisoning. Now it's time to hear from you. Which is your favorite of these short but talented gentlemen? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.